All right, so let's get started making this photo. So to begin, um, you would have needed to already downloaded the app and downloaded a photo of a person on a white background and a picture of um, whatever you, image you want to superimpose on top of um, the photo of the person. Once you have the photo in your camera roll, excuse me, um, you're going to open it in Snapseed. So in here, you're gonna tap the open um, option in the top left corner. Um, if you don't see your picture here, you can do open from device. It'll access your camera roll and then you can select the photo. Um, and the first thing we're going to need to do is get rid of the white background. Now, if you took the photograph yourself or you found an image that may have some shadows and stuff, um, this is going to help with that. It's also going to, going to help um, tune our figure themselves. So we're gonna tweak the saturation and give it a little bit more uh, details. So the first thing we're gonna do is tap tools down in the bottom, in the middle, um, and then you're going to tap tune image. And in here, you should see, oops, click the wrong thing, tune image. In here, uh, when I tap the little bar down in the bottom, those three bars, the sliders, um, you have these options that pop up. You can tap on your screen, oops, tap on your screen and scroll up and down um, to choose which one you would like to affect. Right now, we're going to play with our saturation and when you stop over saturation, you just take your finger and slide left and right and see the blue bar at the top changing? That's gonna change your saturation. You wanna get rid of all of the color in your photo for right now. So you're gonna take it and slide it all the way to the left, okay? Um, that's gonna get rid of all of the color. Uh, when you're done with it, tap the check mark to lock it in, okay? You could also use in the tools option, um, the black and white option and in here, there's default settings that will give you more texture, um, darker. I'm gonna go with the other option, okay? Uh, so here we go, we change it to black and white uh, by either using the black and white option or tune image and then saturation. Next, you're going to tap the tools option again and tap details. Uh, then you're going to tap the image of the sliders in the center bottom of the screen. So there's three little sliders down here in the center bottom of the screen. This should give you an option to change between the structure and sharpening. Structure will give you an overall effect and then sharpening will bump up the small details. Um, and then when you're done, you're going to tap the check mark. So structure is going to give you an overall effect. If you look at, look at see how it's affecting my whole image. Uh, it's refining and darkening some of the shadows a little bit. And then if you use sharpening, sharpening is going to give me some more texture in the hair and uh, maybe on the eyebrows and the mustache. See how now the mustache on this person is a little bit more defined if you bump it up. I'm going to leave it. I like that, okay? All right, so when you're done, tap the check mark. Okay, it's gonna lock in that effect. Next, we're going to crop the image if you need to. I do not need to crop my image, um, but some of you may want to. So we're gonna go through the process of cropping the image so that way you um, know how to do it. So uh, if your image needs to be cropped, now is the time to do it. We are going to tap on the tools option, and then you're going to tap crop, okay? Uh, and what's nice is some of these icons all look the same as the icons that we are used to seeing in Photoshop and Illustrator. So, and I, you know, it's easy to find. Um, then you're gonna tap crop. Then you can use the free transform with your finger to click and drag, or you can use the presets down here, which will give you, oh, the wind just slammed the door in my house, which will give you, um, different size presets if you want it to be square or three by two, four by three, okay? Um, I'm gonna keep mine square. I'm not gonna crop, so I'm actually gonna get out of that. Once you're done cropping, you can tap the check mark to lock in that change. Okay, 
Next, we're going to get rid of shadows um, or any exterior part of our image. So we're gonna mask it out. If you remember um, masking in Photoshop when we did the multiple people and some of those worksheets that I did in Photoshop where you use the mask and the black paint takes away and the white paint brings back, this is the same concept. It's just kind of a, a different way of doing it. So we're gonna mask out everything that, we're, that we don't want to keep. So everything that's not a person, we're gonna mask. So we're gonna tap tools then you're gonna tap the brush tool. And then we're going to tap exposure. Okay, and we're gonna bump the exposure all the way up to plus one, so as high as it can go. Then we're gonna switch on the eye. This is going to allow us um, to see where we're painting, so the part that we're painting is actually going to turn red. Um, you can also pinch to zoom. Um, when you want to get in closer to places. Okay, so I'm going to pinch and slide. And as I paint, I'm just taking my finger painting it around my figure. Don't want to miss any of his curls. Okay, now if you notice, I went over his face in a spot, right? So there's a, a couple of spots that I would like to refine. It's totally fine. We're gonna be able to do that, um, to edit that in a second. Oops, edit that in a second. So it looks like I'm gonna need a big spot to edit it, edit it, okay? So when then you're gonna go ahead and tap the check mark and it's going to mask out everything. Now, if it's fully white, white, you're not much of a change, but trust me, it's there. Um, you can do this process as many times as you need to. If there was like a really dark object in the background or something like that, or a dark shadow, you may have to do this a couple times to get a solid white background. Okay, next we are going to actually create the double exposure. So to do that, we're gonna tap tools, and then we're gonna tap the double exposure option. And then we're gonna tap add picture, which is this little picture icon in the bottom with the plus sign. You're gonna tap add picture, find the photo that you wanna superimpose over your person, okay? And then you can move around here and adjust. I think I want that. I think I, I like it right there. Okay, so we're gonna adjust and maybe There we go, that looks, that looks good, I like that. Okay, so you're gonna slide it around and do an adjustment, okay? Um, so you're gonna arrange the image so the parts of the image that you wanna see is inside of your person, right? So all of this bit of my image, of my um, mountains, is going to be masked out and disappear. Um, there are a few options at the bottom that you are more than welcome to explore. Um, in order to get to those options, you tap the little booklet in the middle. Okay, so that's your little middle, uh, the little booklet icon in the middle. Um, it gives you some pre-adjustment effects um, that you can use to finish your double exposure with. Feel free to use these um, or don't. Uh, I usually stick with the default setting, um, but you, some of you may like these. So this is what default looks like. You can go with lighten darken, which pulls out all the uh, really darkest areas from the photo and kind of puts them on top. I don't like this one at all. Uh, and then you have add, subtract, and overlay. Overlay is a relatively effective way of doing it, um, but I feel like you lose a little something in the exposure. So I'm going to go back to default. That's going to keep the nice, um, warm, crisp uh, colors that we have from the mountain image. Um, and once it's there, you tap the check mark and it's going to lock in. Okay. All right. Next we're going to, oops, we're going to tap the layers option, which is at the top of our, um, smartphone. So it's the couple little square layers with the bent arrow. We're going to tap layers 
and then we're going to tap view edits. So this brings up all of the edits and changes that we have done so far to our photo. Okay. Um, you're going to go back in and tap the double exposure option, and then you're going to attach, excuse me, tap the paintbrush in a box. That's going to bring up your brushes. Now notice, all of my effects and everything went away. It's supposed to do that. Now what you're going to do is be able to use the paintbrush to brush back in the double exposed effect, okay? So don't worry, all your stuff disappeared. It was supposed to happen like that. So you're going to tap the eye again. This is going to show you where you're painting. Um, uh, and then you're going to tap the down arrow next to exposure, okay, to clean up around the edges. It's kind of like masking in Photoshop, and then you're gonna pinch and zoom um, to get closer around the edges. So now in here, you are going to paint over the face of your figure. And then if you want to refine your edges, you tap the down arrow until it's zero. And you can zoom, pinch to zoom to refine around the edge. And if you need to go back in, you tap the up arrow. And then I'll mask it back in for you. And it's going to be a, a push and a pull until you get it, until you get it right. So I'm going to go back in. You want to try and refine this as best you can. Okay, and then when you are done, oh, I missed a part. When you are done, go ahead and uh, then tap the arrow. And that's going to lock in um, those changes. If you want to ed edit any of the other effects that you've done in um, Snapfeed to your to your photo, you can do that here, or you can tap the arrow to come out of it. Um, um, and then once you're done with that, feel free to go back and play with any of the other adjustments. I'm going to tap tune tune image and go to the saturation and I'm actually going to just up the saturation a little bit. Um, I'm also going to play with the contrast. Hopefully that will bump up some of my darker tones and areas in there. And when you're done, tap the space, or not space bar, tap the check mark to lock it into place. And then you have a double exposed photo. Um, so edit, make as many of these as you want. I think it would be really cool as a series. Um, once you're satisfied with your double exposure, you're going to export it and then upload to Google Classroom. So you would tap the export button down in the bottom right corner. You're going to tap export again. It then saves it to your camera roll. And then from here, within the Google Classroom app, you are able to upload this image to your assignment and turn it in for me. I can't wait to see what all of you guys create. Um, and I miss you. And hopefully we can get one more, at least one more project in before the end of the year. Okay. Uh, miss you all. Let me know if you have questions.